What's up, Rockstars? How's it going? Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing a box. Let's see what's inside. As always, I'd like to start with a quick shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their support that a lot of this is possible. In fact, this very box is from a patron. So, thank you to my patrons. You guys are incredibly awesome, and I am beyond thankful uh, for your support. I don't get a lot of early copies, not as much as some of the other guys, because I don't necessarily always play nice. And so, without your guys' support, being independent would just be either a crapshoot or it, I'd have really late content or not enough or either way you guys are awesome and thank you so much if you want to be a part of that link in the description below if you don't that's fine too I totally understand there's all kinds of things you can do you can like share uh, there's merch link Amazon link all kinds of stuff down below or you know just leave a comment saying thanks so much for the video that works too now let's go ahead and dive into it all right so <laughs> I don't know exactly how um, well, this is necessarily packaged. You cannot judge the package, um, because, uh, at least for the game developer, you could judge it from my patron, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how well he did. We'll find out. And I'm, up, I'm doing it upside down so that nobody's address is being shown, because I was too lazy to find a Sharpie to make it to where you couldn't see it. Putting the box upside down is easier. All right, come on. Come <laughs> Open. Got it. All right, let's see here. Now, we got pretty much all original. I mean, like, I'm assuming this is what it came in. Well, that's kind of nice. Move that aside. There, and look at that gatefall. All right, now my patrons have been going crazy over this. Ugh. Okay, move that here. Uh, this is, by the way, the retail version. My uh, patron cap of the Kickstarter version. What a jerk, no, <laughs> it's great. Uh, so this is actually what you could get from Amazon right now. In fact, I'll have a, a link to it below. So you can, if this looks interesting to you and you wanna get in on this, well, you know what, uh, there'll be a link right there. You can go directly to it. Um, and following the link will probably help me out a little bit anyway and cost you nothing. So there you go. Um, what makes this so um, big is the fact that it's got huge miniatures. Um, it's like a light skirmish game, and I have I love skirmish games. I don't really have a light skirmish game, so I'm actually kind of interested to see what this is like. So I'll be playing it and reviewing it. Um, and then additionally, uh, it's not that expensive. It's pretty cheap. Now, the miniatures, from what I can tell, are not amazing, right? This is the render. This is not the miniature. We'll look at the miniatures soon. So, uh, you know, expect some uh, negative comments around that. However, you do always, always have to keep in mind price and uh, purpose. And I will say that I have seen my patrons paint it up and it looks so much better painted. Um, it's not even funny. Like when they are painted, they, they look way, way better. Look at actual size. Again, they're huge, huge miniatures. Um, in fact, everything's huge here. The, the, the font is huge. Jack Dyer's name is huge. <laughs> Honestly, if I made a board game, I'd probably put my name really big on there, too. Now, this is, this one, it's from me. You can tell. My name is, like, all, all over it. Um, there is actually a Kickstarter. I don't know, based off of, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to post this. Um, depends on when I can edit it. Uh, but there is a, either a Kickstarter going on right now for an expansion, or uh, probably where you could at least follow uh, and maybe even late pledge or something like that. I'll link to that down below as well, uh, for sure. Okay, first of all, I can tell you right now, this is nice, like this is nice and it's got that um, very uh, kind of almost soft, silky feel to it. Um, and the color is huge, like it's just got a nice um, uh, presence to it, right? A very muted colors, but between the green and the blues and the orange and pinks and stuff like that, it, uh, it's very dynamic and very nice. Uh, I don't know how much I appreciate him, but uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. And then again, on the back, it kind of shows you just a tiny bit about the game. Not a, not a whole lot. Okay. Sorry, it's actually pretty heavy. Let's go ahead. Wow, front and center are the miniatures. Look at that. It's pretty much just miniatures in your face. Uh, that is cool. I can tell you right now, it's got a lid. That's awesome. It didn't require this to be the lid. This has a lid. Also, it's got the black tray. I appreciate the black tray. This is already two wins just for this. 
Oh man, it's, it's gonna keep going too. Okay, so. Listen to that, hear that? No crinkle, no crinkle. Kabans, their little plastic ones, their see-through ones, often crinkle, so I'm glad of that. Also, it's got a locking lid, you see that? So these little divots snap in there and kind of keep it secure, which is nice. Not a whole bunch, but enough to where, look, I can lift it by the lid. Very nice, very nice. Um, we're actually gonna look at that last. I know, I'm sorry. I'm cruel like that. All right, here's all the rest of the stuff. Um, I can see right now that there might not be a place for the cards. Maybe they can go in that, uh, I don't know. Um, if not, it looks like they're just kind of loose, which is unfortunate. Let's see, then we got a the player boards. They look like actual boards. We'll take a look at that in the bags. Then we got the map. At least part of it right here. There's half of it. I do appreciate the art. I think that looks pretty cool. I don't even know what's going on there. Something like a energy electricity stuff. I, I thought it was waterways, but that is not the case. You can see kind of the scale based off the bottles. That kind of gives you a good sense of how high up you are. And then the back is actually textured. Uh, quite nice. Like that feels great. Feels very nice. Um, quite impressed so far. Uh, there's a little bit of a, you know, a bend here where you bend it and that's fairly normal. Uh, this seems fairly well done. I do see that there's already some fraying on the corner and that'll just continue. And really, like, it's, it's, it's not the best cardboard. Like, you, you feel when you squeeze it some give. It feels kind of, um, you know, just spongy almost, right? Because it's just the, the kind of the cheaper, almost parchment paper-like cardboard that's just glued together. Um, and I don't think it is sealed. Uh, so sometimes they'll put a sealant on it Maybe it is, this almost feels sealed, but I don't quite think so, um, to keep moisture from getting into it. Um, but this is nice, and it folds really, really well. So you got two of those. I'm not gonna look at that one per se, except to just kinda see if I see anything standing up. This one actually looks in better condition. Uh, maybe a little, yeah, there's a little bit of fraying there, but not too much, oh, that looks cool too. Okay, and then we have another little middle piece, I guess. Um, and right now, I can tell you, there is, like, what is that? Do you, do you see that? What is, is that, I don't know what that is, it just looks a little dirty. Um, I don't know. The, does, does yours have this? If you've seen this, let me know. Um, I feel like I probably shouldn't even be touching that. Um, but with all the, like, mold scares from folklore, you can see right there, there's a little bit of a, a ding here as well. Um, and then just in general, like it's, it's kind of bendy and it's just not super nice, I guess is what I'll say. But, um, it is better than some I have gotten, that's for sure. Okay, we have the rule book. This is about my limit in rule book when it comes to like fatness. It's actually kind of a, a, a good deal here. Uh, everything is written big in this too. It's just big. Wow. It, <laughs> <laughs> it is big, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, this looks good. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of color usage and uh, some examples, which is nice. My understanding is it's not like super complex. Let's take a look, see if there's an index. I don't think there is. There is not an index. So the rule book is uh, negative 3000 points for that, but then a good solid plus 50 for being easily readable. <laughs> it does look like it has some FAQs on the back, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Um, it, this also feels, I don't know. It just doesn't, it almost feels wet. And I don't know what that necessarily means. Additionally, you can see some of the uh, ripples here as well, right? Like it's it's just not quite cut. It's almost like the, the blade was not quite so, like sharp when they cut this. And that's pretty much along the whole top. I don't know why it feels, it just feels kind of wet. I don't know what that means. Um, crushed here as well by the looks of it. Um, that's because it almost is like a, like a magazine you'd find maybe at like a doctor's office or something. Okay, and just one tray of boards, look at that. And see, don't eat the silica gel. All right, moving aside on that, let's Let's punch some of these out. Um, boop. Okay, so you can see that they will definitely just kind of hang there, right? So that means you are gonna have some tags. But in general, it seems fairly nice. 
Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. None of them are really big, and so that certainly helps, right? If you have big, like, um, like map tiles and stuff like that, you can get some bending and some other issues like that. But these punch out fine. They're not really breaking or anything. Um, you can Again, you can see the layers um, just are already starting to kind of separate a little bit uh, to where you can tell there's a little bit more gap here than there. Let me zoom in a little bit. How about that? So you can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay, so all I was showing here is that there's a little bit of a, kind of a, almost a glue gap there by the looks of it, but um, rounded on the top, straight on the bottom. So you can definitely tell that this has been pressed on like that. You get that little bit of a um, curvature on the side there, and then it's straight on the bottom. That's pretty common. Double-sided tokens, that's good. Thank you for doing that. Sometimes you have it to where it's black on the, on the back. Not good at all. Yeah, this is fine. It's, it's serviceable. It's not like super premium, but I'm okay with it. That works just fine. Uh, this tray itself, though, is actually bending, and you can see that this is already fraying, and this is made out of the same stuff, so we'll see what repeated... This looks like a game that, <laughs> if you played a lot, it means you got your money's worth out of it, first of all, but it, it'll probably show that wear a little bit more than, than some others. Okay see if that was enough. God help me. All right, look at that. I got it. And you guys thought I might not. Oh man, we're almost to minis. We're almost to dice. Oh, we got some custom dice in there. I can see them now. All right, there we are. Get out of here. Throw it on the ground. Now, first things first, do that. Um, these are quite straight. They're not very bent at all. So you can see a little bit of the line, but it's very, very minimal. A lot of times you'll see a big curve. So if they're curved, when I invert one side, you'll, you'll get a little bow out if they're bent. These are not very bent, and that's great to see. Uh, all of them have the same back, so you... Um, no, these are sideways where these are not, so there's a few different there. Um, I can tell you right now, like they, they, just, they feel actually pretty darn good. Uh, maybe a little... A little skinny, uh, it depends on how much you shuffle them, I suppose, but uh, this this gear stuff looks great. So you have, you know, different gear here by the looks of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, so they are going to slide around everyone, that's for sure. And you can see you got your different stats here, and then some special abilities, and then of course the art. And everything is, like, color-infused, like, insanely. Everything's got a lot of color. Let's take a look at these. There was a zero... One upside down. Oh, I don't have it upside down. <laughs> uh, so this is interesting. All of these are just kind of cards that I guess you, you draw from and you don't know what it is, but it just says a number on it. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, I covered this game when it first came out. I remember commenting on that, but I don't quite remember. Uh, looks to be part of this, obviously. Um, and then you have, because it's two-player, you have two different cards to tell you how you do everything, which is great and appreciated. All right, that's it for cards. That was easy. A lot of times there's a lot of complexity to it, but not there. Player boards. I do appreciate the resealable pack, um, even though I don't know how necessary it might or might not be. Depends on if these really slide around or not, because you don't want them getting scratched. You'd rather the bag get scuffed up as it kind of grinds against everything than, than the player boards. Randar. Okay, on the back, you have... Is there any difference? Uh, yes, 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 there is a difference. Okay, so, um, I think it was this way. Whatever. That's the way we're doing it. Um, got the name, the level, I'm assuming one and... No, one and one, so not that. Uh, here you have health, three, three, threes, and ones. Here you have seven, three, and then some ones. I don't know necessarily what the difference... Oh, the health is different here, too. So maybe just have two different versions of the character. Here he only has three health. Here, less stats. Or I guess more health, right? So seven instead of three. Um, this looks like it might be bent. I'll check that. Arena mode. Oh, so there's an arena mode. I'm assuming a different play style and then a regular one. Here he's got teleportation. He's got some different buffs, it looks like, and some different stuff there. I'm assuming they all have that, which is cool. Now, what I'm, I'm going to do here is the same thing I did with the cards. I'm going to take, let's just take one and see. Let's see if that one was bent. Um, yes, so you can see here the uh, the gap there. So these are already bent, um, and I don't know exactly how bent they will get. 
but I imagine it's just kind of everywhere. Yeah, so do you see that separation there? It's because this is bending this way and that one that way now. And then when I do this, they're all bending the same way. So we do have some bent player boards here, which is unfortunate, but I, man, I do like the color here. So they, again, so this is definitely blue purple and this is purple pink and this is brown purple. And then we got brown, green, and then we got, I don't know why they're all different ways. <laughs> then we got green, orange, and then we got purple, green, orange, and then orange, brown. So that's the difference there. Uh, I think it's cool that they have all this different stuff, um, the stats and whatnot. They, so it looks like they all play unique there. Um, this is a little unfortunate it was bent, but that's all right. Now we get to go to the tray. So, zoom in a little, oh no, I, I think we're fine, I think we're fine. Okay, get this lid off. All right, dice. Wooden stuff. Take a look. Um, this is boring, so I'm not going to show you this. They look fine. I don't see any chips. Uh, there's one chip there. You can see that and the piece of wood. But otherwise, they're just wooden blocks. Like little TNT or like firecracker stuff. All right. Go ahead and look at these custom dice. Again, it comes in a bag, which is nice. Let's see what I roll. Lots of dice. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Okay, so right off the bat, here's how I know I have a comment. Uh, they are not very rounded. So if you see here, they're actually fairly square and that will actually cause them not to roll as much, um, which is typically not sought after. So when you roll this, it'll still roll, right? Um, but the more rounded the corners are, the tip, typically the more it'll topple and turn. Um, so I'm seeing here one, two, three um, blanks all in a corner here or uh, skulls, a blank, and then one, two, um, ones. So I don't know exactly how that works per se. I will say that normally, if there's a fail state at all, I don't like them grouped like this. Um, uh, Chronicle X by Archon Studios also had dice like that, and that was a negative on mine. Because typically when you're rolling, you roll a certain way every time, and if you happen to roll them to where they tend to just kind of lop all around there, you tend to see it a lot more often than the numbers would suggest, just because of a human tendency, right? A dice tower would be fine, but when you actually roll, a lot of times you're tending to do the same kind of movement, and sometimes that can lead to getting repetitive um, marks on here. So uh, definitely two to, two to um, six on uh, the, the dice uh, when it comes to how many good spots you have. Now the paint here is fairly good. It's nice and visible. Uh, there's a little bit like there's a little chip here you can see or not a chip but a little bit of red where there shouldn't be um, a little bit of black where there shouldn't be here um, again very minor but i can kind of bring it up here and show you a little bit of black a little bit of red um and that's just on this one i picked up otherwise and i mean in general these look fine i do wish they were more rounded i do i roll bad anyway so i could use all the help i could get um Fairly well painted though. I'm I'm actually it's it's adequate. I'll put it that way. I think it's just adequate. All right, moving that to the side. Now for the time you've all been waiting for the miniatures. Now I'm actually gonna like take them out and show them without this here, but we're gonna dive into it. All right, so let's... <laughs> well, that worked. We're actually gonna start with the smallest, which is the dog. So, looking at him, he's very smooth. Uh, there's some texture here, so he's got some texture on his tail, but then that texture kind of stops. It'd be nice if the texture was kind of everywhere. You can tell they're like at one point was. So this happens sometimes when things are blown up too much. Um, you see this sometimes even with uh, bigger games like uh, um, the Project X and Reich Busters I felt had this same symptom where you can tell this was sculpted and then just exp like they scaled it by like 300%. And when you get that, sometimes you get these softer details that maybe would have been a little bit crisper if they had been smaller actually. Um, and then of course the plastic used too. Now this is very thick. Um, 
so I'm not able to like bend anything. It's very solidly built, which is nice. And it looks to be assembled quite well. It's all one piece except for the head, which is a separate piece, but it, it looks like it was glued on very nicely. And um, then onto the base itself, which was also separate. But there's no like real bad rim thing here. There's a little bit of a fill spot there. And it's kind of oddly shaped. Like you see this big um, piece here and the knot here. So it's, it's kind of haphazardly tapered. I don't know if it's on purpose or not. Um, again, very soft details here. However, the, uh, the lip seems to have done pretty good, though the nose seems to be almost completely gone. Um, goggles look good. Actually, the ears, I think, look nice. A little bit of a mold line there, not too bad. And actually, this top part here looks nice as well. Um, <laughs> that's like a little divot there. It's a little funny. Um, yeah, overall, he's all right. He's okay. He's probably the most boring now, anyway, so. Uh, dwarf, I guess, would be the next smallest. Uh, but thickest with two C's. So, take a look at him. Uh, again, multi-piece. So you can see he was glued here, and as you can see, the assembly wasn't like perfect in this case, so there is some gap fill there where you can stick your, your little pointy thing in, in the holes. Um, his head was also assembled. Um, the, uh, let's see what else was. So these two arms, and that might be it, and then the head. I'm not really seeing any others right now. Texture-wise, this guy, I think, is a lot better. This guy's actually pretty cool. So he's got this great beard, and at least right here, the hair's really good. The hair almost, like, <laughs> you can tell the, the detail just kind of disappears here. This is a problem with the um, the miniature making itself, not the sculpt, per se, because um, you can tell they have the texture here. Um, but when you're filling the, when you're tooling the, um, the steel mold, uh, it's a little skill based when you're filling it up with plastic and then taking it out and then waiting for it to cool down and then filling it with plastic again That's a little skill based too And so if if you work with the manufacturer that isn't like super great at it or is rushing through it or anything like that You'll get these kind of melty parts sometimes Okay, let's look at his um, Thumbs here. So this is kind of interesting. He's got this um thumb, right? But then he's got this weird like Bump here. Do you see that? I thought that was his fingernail, but his fingernail's right here, which he has sculpted, which is nice. I don't know what that weird, he's got that blister <laughs> is what he's got. Um, this is a little bent here, and you can um, kind of see some more softness there. However, I actually quite like him. I think he's pretty pretty darn cool. Um, this is kind of, that's an interesting, I don't even know what that's for. Uh, there's some great detail on here, actually. Like That's really nice on his helmet. His helmet came out great. Uh, this is, again, Listen to that. It's actually nice and crisp. That looks great too. They're not filled in too much. It looks like there's a little bit right here that's filled in, but then it goes back to being kind of non-filled in. So there's a little bit right there. Uh, this looks good. Actually, the detail work on here is quite nice as well. That'll actually, it's just thick enough to take a wash. I like this guy. This guy's cool. Um, and, it, and his beard being in here with his mouth open gives him a sense of um, motion. Right, like he just kind of reached back to maybe start swinging that hammer, which again, looks cool too. Okay, next we're gonna do this hunched over guy here. Um, this guy has some really gross boils on his skin that are disgusting and pockmarked. Oh, oh, okay, I do not like these holes at all. Um, that's just disgusting. Uh, his face actually looks quite good. He's got sculpted eyes even. Again, there is a little bit of an assembly issue. They could have spent a little bit more money on the assembly. Um, I'm wondering if they, if they use super glue, I could put this in the freezer and snap it and re-glue it. And I might actually try that as opposed to filling that, though I could. Um, yeah, the, the sack here actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty okay with that. It's not even getting too thick here, which is nice. These are definitely better than I thought they were now that I'm seeing them in person. Not perfect, but better. There's a little bit of black something or other there. It's not from me. I don't think so. Uh, inner ear is sculpted nice. The pants look good. Uh, the wrinkles look nice and like really perfect for a wash. Um, yeah, again, he looks great as well and he's glued onto the base nicely too. And it's a very unique, and I don't know if you notice this or not, but the base style is very unique. Okay, next let's look at the wizard. Here's the wizard. Uh, this is glued. Okay, good. So a lot of times these will be loose, and I always think that's unfortunate. Um, they glued it into here, uh, which is great, and it looks like even on the base, which is also nice. You can see some of the extra super glue 
here. It'll affect kind of the base a little bit. So you can see this is kind of blopped around a little excessively. Once you prime it, it doesn't really matter. This will take a wash extremely well. Great padding here. The feather is actually quite nice as well. I'm liking the feather. Uh, the entire feather, like it came out pretty darn good. Um, hat looks good. These rivets here might be a little too small for my taste. Uh, the assembly on his head is actually great. Um, beard is good. Magic good. This is my favorite one by far so far. This guy is actually really nice. I like that. I like that his, his uh, robe is kind of flowing back down there as well. And of course he's got his grimoire, his book of spells or whatever. This is probably the only thing I don't like is this very flat fill in here um, that they had to fill in for that. Otherwise he looks cool. Um, let's do this chick. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is actually really funny. So uh, let's see, we got the ax here. We got a very, very faint wrapping here. This is definitely dumbed down. And in fact, the wood grain itself, you can tell is like, there's a suggestion of it, but it will not affect painting at all. So this ax is really unfortunate because it is her weapon. Um, the grenades, at least these actually look fairly okay, except that they, <laughs> they go all the way in. This is like a gas canister. Um, do you see how deep that goes? That's funny. Um, that they just filled it in like that. So that, this doesn't like a grenade at all. <laughs> what is that coming out of her pants? <laughs> These other grenades look mostly okay. This one again goes straight back as well, but that's, that's hilarious. Um, shoes are, could be better. Honestly, I'm not seeing any, do you see any difference here between the shoe and the pants? Cause I don't see any, like if we're looking here, do you see how it's just smooth? Like here you can tell the pant leg and then it just gets into like a melted mess right there where there's nothing. Um, so between this, between the really lackluster mold on her ax and the very silly grenades, this one's a little bit more of a fail for me. Um, I love these wrinkles on the pants. So these are actually really good. Um, the weapon is nice and unique and look at that. Look at that. Not bad assembly. It's a little bit of a miss, but actually pretty darn good for a more advanced setup there. Uh, these uh, divots in here look actually quite nice. There's some nice holes in there. This is maybe a little bent, but that's okay. Uh, actually some even fine texture on the actual like um, pistol holder kind of portion of it. Uh, collarbone and the kind of the neck features there. Her eyes again are sculpted. Um, this is very much a, a, a nasty kind of texture, but it works. Uh, the weapon maybe is bent a little bit, probably should be like that, not quite like that, but a hot water treatment will do that. Again, tiny bit there. The symbol on this one's actually quite, quite good. And the rope on the canister, you can hear that, actually has texture, which again is great. These water bottles are super cool too. Um, a little bit of cleanup here from excessive glue is what that is. Um, so if, if I were to take this half of her, I think she's actually quite good. I think this half suffers uh, for a variety of reasons, which is unfortunate because she might be my favorite uh, character just because, again, I think it's all interesting. Like she's just a unique character, I feel. Uh, these skulls came out okay. All right, we just got a few more, just two more. We got Mr. Masked Man. Um, again, the gun just seems kind of lackluster. Uh, very kind of soft feature here. Like it, it's good right here. You can see that nice crisp line here. Let me bring it up a little bit even closer for you. Nice crisp line here. And then it kind of morphs up and kind of just gets a little funny there. You can see the end of the barrel. This one's sort of molded. This one has a suggestion. This one has nothing. And then again, it just gets super blunt right there in the end. Um, but... This looks great, and the vanishing here looks good. The skull here looks fairly decent. The teeth are a little missing there. Um, again, a little bit excessive glue on the base, but not too bad per se. I don't know what this is at all. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, jacket actually looks good. Face looks good. Uh, the helmet actually I quite like. Uh, back of the helmet looks good. His backpack, I think it looks great. Um, the rope on the outside looks good. On the inside, we get some soft fill in here. See how it just, it, compared to, 
So this is really loud and crisp, and this is super smooth and kind of unfortunate. And uh, right in the inside here, it gets a little funny. I'd probably, you know, paint it like a, a blanket or something like that, but it just gets kind of melty in there. But otherwise, these look great. Um, and on this side, it's actually a little bit better. There's still that in-between that's a little odd, perhaps, but I think I can make it work through paint. His uh, shoes are a lot better than hers, though. Um, they also good. I think um, I like pretty much most of this. There's a little kind of oddity, a little kind of meltiness here and there, but otherwise, I think this is a fairly good win. It's unfortunate that the weapons aren't getting a little bit more love, but that's all right. Now, final guy. Burr, burr, burr. There he is. Um, he is huge, I can tell you that much right now. Uh, he is big, and he's like solid too. He's not hollow or anything. Um, let's see, chain looks great. It's normally fairly easy to do this uh, beefed up, but it looks nice and separate. It's assembled well. Um, you can tell this was almost a pride and joy. This hollow, oh, that's cool. The ladle looks great. Um, this kind of bone stone ax looks good. Um, belt looks great with the belt buckle here. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but that's kind of disgusting looking. Uh, skulls look okay. Uh, this is probably the first bat assembly on it where you can kind of stick your, he's way too heavy to really hold in there, but you could stick your doohickey in there and it'll stick. Um, completely solid in here. That's pretty normal, but a lot of times they'll have more than just this to cover it up with. Uh, all of these look good. Uh, his face, I think, looks great. He, again, sculpted eyes, and he's got most of his teeth. The teeth right here are a little soft for my tastes. Um, rope here looks good. Uh, again, you kind of get that mold line and some more kind of this black stuff. Uh, this, people assembling this need to wash their hands, I think. <laughs> um, it's a little soft between his finger right here and the, um, the weapon. I wish that was a little bit more crisp. Like right here, see how crisp that is right there? That looks great. And you can see right here that crispness is gone and it's just kind of muddy. The texture on this uh, wood looks great. On the shield also looks great. And all the swords through it look awesome. A little bit of a gap fill here, but that is actually okay. It's a complex piece and I'm okay filling that in. Uh, definitely, I think my favorite of the bunch. This guy looks pretty darn cool. Okay, so that is uh, everything that you get in the retail version. Again, it's actually pretty darn cheap. I'll have it linked down uh, below so you can follow that. And uh, thank you to my patrons for being so awesome and allowing me to uh, show off some uh, games for you guys. Uh, I might be giving this away to one of my patrons. I might not, I might just buy one for somebody else instead and keep this one because I think my wife wants to paint these. And if we like the game, we'll probably wanna play it too. So <laughs> we'll see what we do. Um, but either way, thanks so much for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys again real, real soon.